Hi, my name is Mark and welcome to my channel, The Media Nerd. In this video, I'm going to show you how to rip a Blu-ray disc. Now, I know what you're going to say. Ripping a Blu-ray movie is illegal and it breaks copyright. And it does. But why would you want to rip a store-bought Blu-ray? Like this particular one, The Amazing Spider-Man 2, this copy has a Blu-ray 3D, a Blu-ray, a DVD, and a digital download. So, of course, you're not going to rip something like this. But what you can rip are things that you have bought from a video production company, sort of like myself. Like, for instance, this is a dance recital video that I produced a few years ago and put it on Blu-ray, and it's been locked in this Blu-ray. And this is the Nutcracker, so it is in public domain, but that's besides the point. So your kids were in some type of stage event and it was videotaped and produced by a video company like mine. And then you bought a Blu-ray because that was sort of a fad a few years ago. So the first thing to do, if I were you and you wanted a digital copy of that special event of your child's, then see if that video production company is still around. And if they are, see if they have a digital copy of the performance. And if they don't, then maybe you can ask them if they can make you a digital copy. And if they can't, then it's fair game. You can go ahead and rip the Blu-ray and put it on digital. The Blu-ray disc I'm going to rip today is a really old Blu-ray that I made back in 2009. And I think YouTube came out about four years prior to that. And this one is called Flatwire Installation Training Video by Liberty Wire and Cable. And I'm really proud of this video. It actually even won an award or two, but it's been trapped on this Blu-ray since 2009. And I really, really want to get it on my YouTube channel. And back then I didn't have the hindsight to even have a YouTube channel or put videos on my website. It just really wasn't a thing. It was still sort of new back then. So let's go ahead and get Flatwire put on a flash drive. Now there's a few pieces of equipment that obviously you need to rip a Blu-ray. And the first most important one is what you're going to rip it to to save your digital file. And I'm using the Cloner Alliance Box Pro Pocket. And the reason why I'm using this standalone device is because it has an HDMI in and it will record directly onto a flash drive, which is really cool. Now it records in 1080p at 60 frames per second. And that's exactly what I want. Now I'm not gonna go through the entire setup on how to operate the Cloner Alliance because I already made a video on that a little while ago and I'll put a link at the end of this video to that video so you can see the full operation of this machine. To play the Blu-ray desk, I obviously have a Blu-ray player. And this is a fairly old Blu-ray player, but what's important about it is that it has an HDMI out in the back and that is key. I have a little TV right here that I'm going to use because the Cloner Alliance, it just has this little three inch screen right here. And it's hard for me to show you what I'm doing on the three inch screen. So I have what's called a pass through to go to this TV so you can see exactly what I'm doing. Okay, let's get everything turned on. TV is on. The Cloner Alliance, here's the little on button right here. And it lights everything up. I already have my flash drive plugged in and it is a 32 gigabyte flash drive and it's formatted as an XFAT. So let's see if we can get everything rolling here. So the first thing, let's get the Blu-ray player open. Great, we have a signal, 
So that's absolutely perfect. All right, here are the settings. Unfortunately, you're seeing some of the Blu-ray stuff behind it, but most important thing is my record resolution. I want it at 1920 by 1080. That's what I shot this video on. And the bitrate I have high, and the file size is 16 gigabytes. I'm sure you can go higher, but we don't need more than 16 gigabytes for this video. It's not that long. So I'm gonna go ahead and put in that, and I'm gonna hit record. And you can see on the TV right there that it is recording. And the Blu-ray's playing. Flatwire by Liberty Wire and Cable is revolutionizing AV installations for any kind of residential or commercial retrofit. This video explains the- Okay, so it is recording. You can see that it's recording and it's looking and sounding absolutely great so far. So I just have to let this Blu-ray play for a little while to get it onto the flash drive. Then we can take it onto the computer and check it out to see how it looks. I'm on my Mac computer using Final Cut X and I'm going to import the media from the cloner. All right, so it is right here and I'm gonna copy it to the library. So it is going to take a moment to copy over. While it's importing, we can check the file. Let's just drop it in the timeline right there. And man, that looks perfect. And it didn't even render at all. Flatwire by Liberty Wire and Cable is revolutionizing AV installations for any kind of residential or commercial retrofit. It looks exactly like the Blu-ray video. I mean, it's absolutely perfect. I can't wait to get this onto my YouTube channel. So that is it. That is one way on how you can rip a Blu-ray. That's pretty cool, right? If you don't have the time or the means to be able to digitize your own media, I would love to be able to help you out. You can contact me through my website, www.coloradospringsvideo.com. I do have a special order form that you can fill out and send to me along with your media. So thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Make sure to subscribe, like, and ring that bell for future notifications. You have yourself a wonderful day.